Hello, this is Takamasak, and welcome back to Let's Play Crystalis. Last time I left off, I was about to explore the Evil Spirit Cave. Sounds like a terrific place. Use your fire sword on these guys, but don't get too close to them, because they will poison you. Imagine that. Jellyfish that poison you. Eh, pretty easy to take care of, though. If I can get in here without my dolphins hanging in. Ah, I was so close, too. Thank you, Mr. Dolphin. I will take care. This place is a little confusing. A lot less annoying if you don't blow your shell flute. Just follow me. You'll be just fine. It's straightforward if you know where you're going. And again, I suppose everything is straightforward if you know where you're going. I think these are the same guys we've met up before with the Portoa area there. Uh, head on over here. A new guy right there. He will shoot paralysis beams if you let him. But it doesn't matter if you have your sacred shield. I head on over here. Form another ice bridge. And these guys are immune to fire. You can hit them with wind, but there's not really any sense of using your wind sword. This makes it take longer. And these guys are immune to both water and wind, just in case it isn't the same guy. Oop, there we go. One of these swords. The one I haven't used yet. And I'm going to run into that mushroom again. Here we have a magic ring. Awesome. Never have too many of those. Alright, that's all the treasure in here. Let's go to the next area. Without getting poisoned. I guess I still have some antidote herbs. After I just got done telling you they're immune to fire, I try to use my fire sword on him. Yeah, it's about 600,000 degrees in here again today. My brain doesn't function properly when it's that hot. If he's kind of like the bats, he's just there to throw you into other enemies. Yeah, head on up here. Alright. I think there's another new enemy in here. We'll head down here first. Yeah, yeah there we go. He's purple. I'm gonna assume he can paralyze you, but... I don't know, because I'm immune to it. Just don't get hit by him. Obviously not the same ones we've run up with before, but exactly the same AI script. He's gonna come right up from under me, isn't he? Guess not. Bust down this wall. Green dragon? No, not a green dragon. Okay. Well, I guess I needed that charge. There's two chests in here. That one up there is a bite you chest. But we'll go down here first. Ice bridge. And in here we have the iron necklace. It's a similar feature to the... Uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, the shield ring. Except for this one's for your shield, this one's for your armor. And I'm not positive I was correct when I was describing it. It either doubles the defense of that particular piece of equipment, or it adds your level to your armor, whatever. Either way, it's a trivi trivial amount of defense. But it couldn't hurt just to leave it on the strongest one, which in this case is the Sacred Shield. Whoa, buddy. Maybe he poisons you. He's gotta do something. Gotta fly in these stupid circles. He doesn't get, like, any gold. It's not cool. Ah, this just loops around. Yeah, come straight. Aw, oh, come on. He's not supposed to do that. I will kill your friend because of that. Yeah, this just loops around back there, I think. Back here. Nah, I don't want to go back there. I want to go over here. To something not so fun. I'm going to hang out here and wait for that flying guy. Okay, now that I killed him, let's get on here. Yeah, if you're on that and you haven't seen him in a while, eh, there's about a 95% chance he's going to fly and knock you off. If you do get knocked off, you end up about the same spot as you are in this floor as you would be in the bottom floor. So if you're in like the top right corner, 
When you fall off, you'll be on the top right corner of the floor below you. Ow. Alright, here we have a... Whoa. What the hell happened here? Zombies! Yeah, this is the zombie town. There's only one thing going on in here. Remember that guy Clark that we're looking for? Here he is. Well, yeah. Oh, she did this. Oh, Sabera, huh? Sabera? Huh. Whatever. Eh, more zombies. They don't talk or anything, so... And here we have Sabera's castle. Eh, more of these jerks. They're really not worth the time. Ow. No. Do not follow me. So let's just go grab some treasure. Treasure! Ah, if I remember right, this is uh, one of these. No, I don't think it's this one. Yeah, you remember what... Uh, who was it? Tornell? The invisible enemies can only be hit with magic. And by magic, they mean a level 3 charge. Yeah, there you go. Really not worth the effort to take them down. Yeah, I think they paralyze you too. Yeah, there we go. Well, I guess I should, you know, heal myself. That'd be, that would be wise. Pretty creepy looking guys, man. At least they get good experience. But yeah, like I said, really not worth the time. I'll head on down here. What the, what the game really loves to do is they love to put enemies, like, right here, right at the end, too. Unfortunately, or, yeah, and fortunately, there was not one this time. We got a Fruit of Power, if you don't remember what that does, it restores one-fourth of your MP. That's kind of tricky, that's actually not the start, but... Stop it. Yeah, those guys are immune to water, too, so... Well, let's just walk around them. Not worth the time. Alright, I'm gonna use... Let's see, what do I have in here? Sure, I'll use the Fruit of Power, I guess. And I will heal the full. Why do you do that, you ask? Because... You have a boss fight against an old friend. You wanna try to get him on the one of the sides? So that way you can possibly hit him twice with your Wind Charge? And he does have three bats this time, and his teleportation is a little more erratic, so just because he's going quickly doesn't necessarily mean he's about to die. But yeah, just keep doing that. There we go. Not too bad, but if he gets all those bats out, he can really dish out some pain. He's a lot stronger than that last guy. Oh uh, yeah, we'll just get rid of that. Well, head up here. And over here. Whoa. I'm pretty sure that guy paralyzes you, too. Is he the one that... Yeah, when he dies, he explodes into paralyzing mist. Terrific. Uh, you can go this way. There's some medical herb over there. I don't care. The, M or the HP regenerated is just ridiculous anyway, so... Oh, boy. What do I want to do? Yeah, I guess I'll conserve my MP. No. Head on up here. Oh, this looks promising. I don't think I'm going to be able to conserve it that much. Yeah, I'm just going to use a magic ring here. And get your fire sword ready. Charge up to level 3 before you go in here. Why do you ask? Oh, yeah, not right now. What did you say? Oh, well, I guess I don't need this. Whoops. Uh, oh man, that was a bad idea. Oh! Oh, I guess she's disguised as Messia. Holy crap, I thought I killed her. And here we have a battle against Sabera. Yeah, as you can see, she'll attack and two each time, and they're pretty easy to dodge if you're fairly far away from her. Just wait for her to stop and then release your explosion attack. Definitely no Kel Best. And I think you need to be level 11 for all of this stuff, so make sure you're level 11 if you're not already. <laughs> Only two, I think. Yeah, I just destroyed her. Oh, no! Yeah, where is Goa? Bring it on! 
And here we have the broken statue. That's just what I needed, a broken statue. Why do I need a broken statue? Now, that was uh, actually a trap. If you walked back there, ignoring the first Messia, you would see the real Messia, and she would, you know, just tell you that it was a trap, so... Not good. But at least with her gone, all of these people are now human. Yeah, what's with all the graves? I know it's a zombie town, but good lord. Oh, a statue of gold, okay. What children? Oh. A pink boy, okay. Ah, oh, a glowing lamp. Oh, I don't have a glowing lamp. Oh, okay, now we get the eyeglasses. Yeah, definitely. I strongly recommend that. Hey, no problem, buddy. A statue of gold? Well, how do you get the statue of gold? This game's not gonna tell me, is it? Eh, you know what? Uh... Yeah, for once, I'm actually not going to walk out of here. I'm gonna go to Leaf very quickly. There's something here we need. Eh, might as well stay in the end over here. Yeah, sixteen dollars. Jeez. Does it really need to grow exponentially every time you get to a new area? I'm gonna pick up one of these nice cheap alarm flutes. Because we will need one in the near future, instead of paying $300 at Joel. And which is where we're going. Alright. Oh, where do you put these things to use? Oh, okay. Apparently it's another gas mask. Okay. Oh, no. Nothing in here. Yeah, we gotta go in here. I guess you're just supposed to use it until something happens. Yeah, a little cave. Gee, I wonder where this is gonna end up. Wouldn't be the lighthouse! Yeah, of course it's the lighthouse. Yeah, what's going on in here? Yeah, Kensu is apparently taking a nap in here. So, we're gonna use our alarm flute! There we go. Well, that was almost true! Oh, okay, here we have the glowing lamp. And just like the other person told us, if you use the glowing lamp on the broken statue, yeah, it becomes the statue of gold. And we'll walk all the way back. You could return if you want, but really, it's not that far. What do these guys have to say? Yeah, definitely. I don't know how he survived. Yeah. Well, maybe you should be. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't even know where Goa is. Eh, nothing in the item shop. I don't care about that. Yeah, go back to fishing. You could have fished right here. No, I'm gonna stab you. No, I wish. Eh, I think I talked to her. And we'll go back out into the angry sea. And call Mr. Dolphy! Probably wouldn't be a bad time to level up again. Back to the Sword of Fire. Oh boy, here we go, over here. Octopus! And another octopus, eventually. There we go. Okay, let's uh, not stand on him when we fight him. Yeah, just like somebody else in that town was saying, if you use the golden statue, that's blue, okay. If you use it here, the angry sea is calmed. Well, what did that do? I don't know. It did something. Don't worry about it. Yes, I am gonna wait till next time to show you. Big whoop. Wanna fight about it? Ow. I am gonna grind, just to torture people. Not that anybody who is watching this has already not played it, but... Uh, I was hoping that would work. But of course not. Yeah, screw it. Only because I'm running out of time. Yeah, remember this whirlpool that was here? We couldn't go through there before, but now that the angry sea is calmed, we can. What's up here? Oh, the barrier magic. Okay. For Chiron and Mount Hydra. Okay. Okay. 
where the hell is Chiron? I guess we'll find out next time on Let's Play Crystalis. This is Takamasak. I will see you later.